Hey guys, so today I decided to hit up my local 99 cents only store and I realized I haven't been here in a while so it's probably going to be a pretty epic haul and I figured because of that I'm going to show you guys what I get because I'm sure I'm going to find some really awesome things today and I'm actually going to one of my flagship stores in my area. It's newer and huge and it always has the best stuff so I am excited to see what I can find for you guys. Okay, so before we jump into actually what I ended up getting, I thought it would be fun to take you to, um, like, through the store with me so you can see what awesome things I found. I didn't end up buying all of this because it would have just been way too much, but I thought it would be really fun stuff to show you because I was really amazed that I found this at the 99 cent store. So I love their gift boxes. They're really, really sturdy and they come in a lot of really pretty patterns. They also have these really awesome plain brown ones that are all stacked inside of each other. Great, great gift boxes. Um, this was a steal for $10, a Fisher Price playmat. Um, those I think would be really, really good if you have kiddos. Um, they have this little barbecue playset, which I thought was so cute. Um, I almost got that, but I didn't. And then tons of chalk options. So many chalk options. I thought these were really fun. Um, so many different options. And then for home decor, they have this beautiful sign. It's a wood, solid wood sign with hooks on it. But they had so many other ones. Smile, hello, home. Um, I mean, just like... They're endless. Brush your teeth. I mean, they're so, so cute. So the home decor has really stepped up lately, I thought. Um, all of these signs, I thought, were really great quality also. And then this was really cool. It's a light-up box that has all the different letters to kind of make any sort of message you'd like. And then some pretty um, candle holders. These are all light-up ampersands. They had a few other ones, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then I really like this. It's a frame shelf. Um, so you can see it's on a little shelf and you can hang that up. The frames actually at the 99 cent store are my favorite. They are really good quality um, and they have quite a few other really pretty home decor, which I love. Um, these I thought were gorgeous. These are mason jars mounted on a wood board. Um, you can write on them with chalk, which I thought that was really pretty. And they always have gorgeous little trinket dishes. These are new. They're pineapples. They're, they have some with gold accent, some with silver accent. This 10 pack of velvet hangers for kids is a hard to find item, so definitely grab those. Um, these are so amazing. They're acrylic boxes. Hard to find, again, if you see these, get them. I got six. They are such good quality. Then uh, these are new, actually. They're lip masks, and they had some 24 karat ones and then some other pink ones. I didn't try them, but I think I might get them next time. I just thought it'd be so cool to show you guys. And they also had under eye masks, um, which I thought were really, really cute. The packaging is really, really nice. Um, so if you see these, I would like to hear what you guys think. Let me know if you try them. And then some more bath bombs, which I think are really, really cool. Um, but yeah, if you try those, let me know. I'd really like to hear. Um, and then they had Paper Mate Dual Ended Colored Pencils, which I thought was awesome because it's a name brand item, good quality, a huge 24 pack, and then 3D glitter chalk. I mean, the chalk options are endless. They have so many chalk options, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, this like animal ottoman, it's inflatable. I actually have this beach toy table. It's not super great, but it's cute. Here's some more light up anchors, light up crowns, light up unicorns. Um, super, super cute decor. Some more home decor, end tables, bookcases, coffee tables, laundry hampers. I mean, the quality of these is actually very impressive. And I mean, they're $8, so it's not super expensive. And then in the stationery, I found these gorgeous, um, like notebooks and to-do lists that have like this marble and kind of copper um, look to them. So I thought they were very chic, very Target. Um, and you know, for a dollar, I think they're totally worth getting. The garden department has amazing pots. I actually ended up getting this marble one, so I'm about to show you what I think about it. Hey 
Hey guys, okay, so that was a pretty epic haul, and I'm really excited to show you what I got. Um, a lot of the stuff that I saw at the store was so, so cute, but obviously I wasn't going to buy everything because I just don't need all of it. Um, but these are the few things that I just couldn't leave the store without. Um, some of them are things that I just needed, but other things are just so, so cute that I just had to get them. So, one of the first things that I want to show you is something that has been so incredibly hard to find. Um, they had these a few months ago and I used them um, in various ways around my house, but they've been so hard to find they haven't restocked them in forever. And that is these amazing acrylic storage boxes. So it's two drawers and they're really hard acrylic. And what's great is that they're stackable and they're very sturdy and very strong. I have these so I can attest to the quality of them. They are great. Um, you know, you'd go to the container store and spend way more than you would at the dollar store. These are $2.99, so they're not 99 cents, but um, still a crazy good bargain. So if you ever see these in yours, I would say just take them all. Take all of them because they're not likely to come back soon. Um, like I said, it was a really long time since these were available, so I was really, really happy when they showed up. Um, I ended up getting two more for me, even though I already have four, yeah, five actually, um, and then I ended up getting four for my sister because she really wanted them. So these are a great deal, super excited about them. These are something you do not pass up. So um, then other stuff I got is kind of just random. This is something that um, caught my eye. It's a laundry hamper. Not so exciting, right? But what's interesting about it is that it's got these, let me open it. I'm sure it's got the quality. Okay, so what really got my attention was that it has these rings on it, right? Um, let's just rip this all up. Oh my god, this is huge! This is way bigger than I thought. Yeah, this is gigantic. Okay, so this is perfect. I was thinking that this would be really great for my bathroom because for some reason, like we have a really small bathroom and so having like an actual hamper there is just not gonna work. There, we don't have enough room. But stuff always just ends up on the floor jammies, you know, clothes. We just throw stuff on the floor and it's unsightly. So I was thinking this would be perfect for that because it kind of stashes away. Um, so I can put it like behind the door or next to the, um, next to the sink or something. And I like that when we're not using it, we can just fold it up and set it aside. And these handles are really, really sturdy. So I thought this would be really, really great for that purpose. And it's the quality of it is surprisingly really good. And I really like these rings. They actually have foam on them, which is really, really Great. Honestly, this was four dollars. This was three ninety nine. Well worth the four dollars. Okay. So along the lines of home stuff, um, right now as I'm filming this, it is the middle of July, and I live in Southern California. It is incredibly hot. In fact, I'm sweating right now, glowing. And the air conditioning is running, which is probably what you hear in the background, but I don't care. Um, it's hot. And so, and this is nighttime. In the daytime, my living room gets really, really, really hot. And I've done so many things to kind of cool it off and it just isn't working. And so, as much as I love having these beautiful, like, linen white curtains in my living room, aesthetically, it's beautiful, but practically, it's very, very, very hot. Because all of the afternoon sun comes in that giant giant window and so lo and behold at the 99 cent only store okay I'm not I'm talking about the place where you usually go to buy random cheap odds and ends I found blackout curtains what what okay granted this is the most expensive thing on my haul but I think it's completely worth it because even at Target I cannot get them anywhere close to this cheap, $7.99. Okay, $7.99 for blackout curtains. This is insane. So um, they had two different sizes. This one is 
um, 84 inches long and the other one was like 63 inches long. So it depends on what size you need, but mine is like almost floor to ceiling kind of situation. So I got the long ones. Um, one thing to keep in mind though is that they are kind of narrow. So this comes with two panels and the total width of both panels together is 56 inches. Now my whole window situation is 84, 85 inches. No, my mom measured it. I don't know, 90 inches, let's round up. So that wasn't gonna cut it. So I ended up buying two. So that would mean I have four different panels which right now I have that situation happening. Um, I have two like linen um, panels and then two sheer panels in the center. Um, so I'm used to that. So but basically what I'm gonna do, well, I don't love that they're black. It's only gonna be temporary. It's something that I'm gonna be having for the summer months and then I'm gonna switch it back out to the ones that I like for the rest of the year. Um, thankfully the summer months are very, very short and you know it, it's probably going to be an eyesore looking at black curtains but i'd rather be comfortable and cool than have my curtains look chic and be sweltering anyways we'll see how these go and hopefully they're a good purchase next is um for my kitchen i have kind of gone through a few kitchen mats and so I don't know if this is gonna work for me or not but I thought that the pattern was really pretty so I got it it's just a floor mat it's nothing fancy nothing crazy um, but it's really pretty and I was impressed by all the different patterns they have they actually have a lot of really really chic pr <clears throat> pretty patterns right now <clears throat> excuse me I got a little something in my throat and normally they're kind of not the cutest a little bit matronly these are really cute. This one I really, really love. Um, it kind of reminds me of that, like, you know those, like, blue and white vases that have, like, all those pretty prints on them? I don't know. I can't even describe what they are. I'll probably remember what they are soon, but whatever. It kind of reminds me of that. So for $2, I figured this is perfect. I just need something for my kitchen. It's, it's, it's good. Especially because in my kitchen I spill a lot. I'm a messy person. I'm a messy cook. And I just wanted something that, like, I'm not going to worry too much about ruining. Um, this next thing is just a sunshade for my car. Again, not exciting, but it's just something that I needed. Um, I wanted to get something for my kiddos, and right now they are into chalk. And so while they had so many different kinds of chalk options, I went with the Mega Crayon Chalk. Um, I kind of love it because... These things are huge. These suckers are gigantic. So, um, yeah, I think these are going to be great. They're going to love them. And then, this is really cool. This is another home decor piece that I'm going to actually DIY a little bit. These gorgeous metal wall sconces. So what I like about these is that they're the kind of geometric um, design. And so they're black, which I don't love. What I'm going to do is um, whip out my gold can of spray paint and I'm gonna spray paint these gold and they're gonna look super chic on my wall. And I may put candles on them or I may put succulents on them. Probably succulents. I'll keep you posted. This was $4, so totally worth it though. Okay, another home decor bit right here. You kind of see it popping out a little bit. Um, oh my God, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. Ah! Is this orchid? Oh. Isn't she lovely? What was interesting is that they had these that were already potted in these like, it's like stoneware maybe. Um, pots that looked more realistic than the ones that were in kind of like a temporary like those green like typically what you find plants in little like green throwaway plastic ones um those I think you would repot it into something else uh, but those don't those looked really fake these actually 
I mean, obviously when you look at them up close, they are silk flowers. They don't, you know, look real, but they're good quality silk flowers. So I really, really love these. They even have the roots hanging out and then the leaves, which actually feel really realistic. So this was $3. This is $2.99. And I just think this is beautiful. It's going to be just like a great little home decor piece that I'm just super excited about. Um, Play-Doh for my kiddos. This is just the generic, like, fake brand. Um, just because they have Play-Doh branded Play-Doh there, but it's the teeny tiny little containers and at the rate at my, which my kids go through Play-Doh, I need the big pumpkin stuff. Um, I got a couple of these large mason jars. These are $2, but they are the kinds that have um, the two-piece lid, which I find seal better than the ones with the, with the one-piece lid. So when you find these, they're, a, they're definitely something to stock up on. And so this one is $1.99 for the large. Um, so I got a couple of these because I use them all the time for organizing my kitchen. But they had these new jars that are so cute. Ah, they have these like gorgeous little like copper um, tops. And then they do have like milliliters marked on the side, which I think is pretty, but I'm not gonna use that. I mean, whatever. Um, but they are so, so pretty, and they have a nice seal to them. It's like, um, I mean, it's a plastic, it's like a hard plastic. There's not like a silicone in there or anything, but it, it feels like a good seal. Um, and these are just a dollar, but they're super, super chic. So I got a couple of these. Um, don't really know what I'm going to use them for, but I always find uses for jars. And then this was actually in the um, garden section. I have no idea what I'm going to use this for, but look Oh, I can't get over this. This is so pretty. It's like a faux marble, I guess, it's a pot for your plants. So I mean, theoretically, I could have gotten that other orchid and popped it in here and that would have been really pretty. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but it's so, so pretty and it's heavy. It's not like crappy quality. I think it's actually concrete, um, concrete painted to look like marble and it's chic and beautiful and I would highly recommend getting this. This was $2, yes. Okay, um, this bag is just full of a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I'm just gonna go through it really quickly. Um, this is the stuff that you don't really care about. Um, coffee filters, whatever, chamomile tea, green tea with lemon. I mean, those are great things, but it's nothing special to write home about. <clears throat> oh, coconut sugar. This was a surprising find, coconut sugar, because it's actually pretty expensive at my local grocery store, so I definitely grabbed that. Um, this I mentioned in my last haul, but they had these Nourish Balls again, so for sure got these because they're really effing good. Um, I really love their washcloths. I use these as um, rags uh, for just cleaning. And I just thought these colors were so pretty. Like, how pretty is that, right? They have the, like, the turquoise, the yellow, and the gray. I just thought that was like a really pretty set. So I got those. Um, this is just kind of extra bits and bobs for my car. Um, an extra iPhone charging cord, and then an extra auxiliary cord, um, just because sometimes I need to have just like backups, and so I like to have extras. These were kind of cool. These are Healthy Times Organic Maple Arrowroot arrow Cookies. I heard arrowroot is supposed to be good, healthy, I don't know. I don't really know what it is or what it's for. It's just supposed to be good. Um, but these all just seemed really healthy and good. Non-GMO, no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. They're for kids, they're for toddlers. So I figured just a cute little healthy snack for my kiddos um has hardly any sugar on it so i got two boxes of these and then the last thing i got i got just because like i could not get it it's called so extra glow stick so extra yeah it um it's a highlighter but it says for a highlighting that pops and so it's like kind of an iridescent package and there's a unicorn on it, a slice of pizza, ice cream cone. I mean, this is obviously made for like a tween, um, but I just had to get it because I was like, come on. Like I need, I needed to have this in my life, like immediately, like 
yesterday. Um, they did have two different colors. They had this one, which is the Stay Gold. And they had another one, which was kind of a, a bluish one. And I forget the name of it. It was like Dream something or other. This is a fatty little stick. I don't really use highlighter, but I've been wanting to try it. So I figured, what the hell, let's try this. So let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I don't know if you can see that shimmer right now. <laughs> what? It actually smelled really good too. Hmm. Well, I don't know. It smells good and it's really shiny. It's got a lot of sparkle. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really into sparkle, but I think it's fun and I might use it. But anyways, I got it because it's the Sherry Moya brand. Um, and I noticed it's it's a limited edition. They had a whole slew of stuff of this brand, just like a bunch of random cool little makeup things. Um, and so I figured, let me just try one of them and see how it goes. So that's it. That's everything I got. Um, I, I really am excited because the stuff at the 99 cent store is kind of blowing my mind. Like, yeah, it's not all 99 cents, but it's all very, very inexpensive and it's super cute. And you feel like you're getting it like a score because you know that these things are going to be gone soon. So I would say if you have a really nice one near you, go check it out. They have some awesome stuff going on right now. And let me know in the comments below what you found. What is something that you found that you're like, oh my god, I cannot believe I found this. This is ridiculous. All right, thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.